Okay. What we're going to talk about now is separating mixtures. Mixtures are more than one type of matter that is easily distinguishable. So if I take the mixture that I have here in this beaker and I pour it out, you can see that there's more than one type of matter in here. There's balloon matter, there's light bulb matter, there's marble matter. And if I take each of these pieces of matter, I can distinguish them based on different properties. I can distinguish them based on their color. I can distinguish them based on their shape. I can distinguish them based on their texture, if one is smooth or rough or sort of stretchy. I can distinguish them based on their shape. If we've got something that is spherical, uh, we've got something that is long and narrow, we've got a hexagon here. So I can distinguish matter based on any number of things. I can also distinguish them based on their mass. I could take a scale and I could calculate the mass of each object and distinguish the matter that so there's a lot of characteristics that we can use to distinguish matter. If I take this beaker, for example, I've got some different kinds of beans in here. I can separate them based on their size. The white beans are obviously much larger than the red, the reddish-brown beans. And I can also distinguish based on shape. If you look at my beaker full of shapes here, I can say, oh, let's put all the rhombuses together, let's put the trapezoids together, let's put the hexagons together, and I could distinguish them on that. I could also distinguish these based on their size. I could distinguish them based on their number of points. There's any number of ways. I could put the triangles together. I could also say that they're different colors, so I can distinguish them based on their color as well. So those are different ways that we can distinguish mixtures based on <clears throat> their physical characteristics. We we'll use our senses to do that. We use our sense of sight. We can also use our sense of smell if we're distinguishing things based on their smell. So there's any number of ways to distinguish mixtures based on their physical characteristics.